to Regan's Chemistry Review, I'm Mr. B. During this lesson, I will review chemical equilibrium. In a chemical reaction, chemical equilibrium is a state in which both the reactants and products are present in concentrations which have no further tendency to change with time. Usually, this state results when the forward reaction proceeds at the same rate as the reverse reaction. An equilibrium reaction may be recognized by the presence of double arrows, meaning that the forward and reverse reaction rates are equal. And the concentration of the reactants and the products will remain constant. At some point, you may be required to interpret an equilibrium graph. An equilibrium graph shows how the equilibrium concentrations of the products and the reactants are related. The horizontal part of each line represents a state of equilibrium, where the concentrations are constant and the forward and the reverse reaction rates are the same. When performing calculations involving equilibrium reactions, one should first write an equilibrium expression. In an equilibrium expression, the concentration of the products are written in the numerator, and the concentration of the reactants are written in the denominator. The value of KEQ will indicate whether the forward reaction or whether the reverse reaction is favored. Consider the KEQ expression for the formation of ammonia gas from its elements. The reactants and products are placed within brackets, representing their molar concentrations. The coefficients from the balance equation, however, are written as exponents in the expression. The value of KEQ will depend on the temperature of the reaction. If the temperature changes, the KEQ value will change as well. If the value of KEQ is greater than 1, then the numerator is larger than the denominator, and the forward reaction will be favored. But if the KEQ value is less than 1, then the reverse reaction is favored, since the denominator will be a larger value than the numerator. Since the KEQ value for this reaction is 625 at 200 degrees Celsius, it is the forward reaction that is favored in this particular case. Le Chatelier's principle explains how a system that is in equilibrium will adjust when a stress is applied. According to Le Chatelier's principle, when any system at equilibrium is subjected to a stress, such as a change in concentration, temperature, volume, or pressure, then the system readjusts itself to counteract the effect of the applied change and a new equilibrium is established. These adjustments are called equilibrium shifts. The Haber process is an excellent example of the real-world application of the Chatelier's principle. The Haber process is used commercially to produce ammonia gas. The Haber process involves a homogeneous gaseous equilibrium reaction where the Application of certain stresses will affect the amount of product form. Some examples of how the reaction will respond to certain stresses include the following. Increasing the concentration of N2 only while holding all other concentrations constant. Increasing the concentration of N2 will consume H2 causing its concentration to decrease. This will cause the products to increase in amount including the heat energy. This is called a right shift. Now decreasing the amount of ammonia only while holding all other equilibrium concentrations constant. Decreasing NH3 will consume into an H2 
causing their concentration to decrease as the reaction tries to reestablish equilibrium. But this will cause the amount of heat energy to increase. Yet again, this is called a right shift. Now increasing the temperature or increasing the heat, holding all of the concentration of the chemical species constant. Increasing heat will consume NH3, causing its concentration to decrease. This will cause the amount of the reactants, the concentration of the reactants, to increase. Now this is called a left shift. Now decreasing the concentration of nitrogen, holding all other concentrations constant. Decreasing N2 will consume NH3 and heat, causing their amounts to decrease as the reaction tries to reestablish equilibrium. But this will cause the amount of hydrogen gas, H2, to increase. This is called a left shift. Now increasing the pressure, holding all concentration of the reacting species constant. Increasing the pressure will favor the side of the reaction that has the fewest number of moles. Therefore, the forward reaction will be favored since there are four moles of reactants and only two moles of products. So increasing the pressure will consume N2 and H2 causing their concentrations to decrease, while the concentration of the products, the ammonia gas and the heat energy, will increase. This results in a right shift. Now for some regions practice, consider the following. The graph shows that the reaction is at equilibrium after 60 seconds because the concentration of both N2 and N2O4 are, well, the horizontal lines represent that the concentrations are constant, so the correct answer to this question is number three. Which statement describes this reaction at equilibrium? Well, at equilibrium, the concentration are constant and the rates are equal, so the correct answer to this question is, that the concentration of N2 is constant. When the concentration of chloride ion is increased, the concentration of silver ion, what? Okay, now in this particular case, what we have here is a left shift because we've increased the amount on the product side causing the reaction to shift to the left. That's gonna increase the amount of reactant, by the way. So the correct answer to this question is the amount of Ag plus decreases and the amount of AgCl will increase. Which statement is true about a system at equilibrium? Well, at equilibrium, the forward and reverse reaction rates are equal, the concentrations are constant. So the correct answer to this question is the forward reaction rate is equal to the reverse reaction rate. And finally, which change will cause an immediate increase in the forward reaction? Well, increasing anything on the reactant side will drive the reaction to the right or forward. So the correct answer to this question will be increasing N2. Okay, this concludes my review of e chemical equilibrium. Now, hopefully this lesson, this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching and good luck on your upcoming Regis examination. I know you'll do well. Take care.